Let's see, what does the Primogen think of JavaScript? Hmm, five hours and 20 minutes on this podcast? <laughs> I just wanna see what he thinks. All right, let's see, uh, I'm gonna go over here. Concise summary. Hey, chat with source content? Oh, what does the Primogen think of JavaScript? Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Nothing, just chatting with a video. <laughs> The Primogen has a positive view of JavaScript. Here's what he says about it. At two hours, 33 minutes, he states, JavaScript's a beautiful language. Hey, <laughs> I couldn't agree more sometimes. A lot of things that are very great for it, including the ability to express anything with very little effort. Let's see, can I click on this? I can click on this and jump right to that spot. Oh, there it is, there's the quote. Oh, wow. Here's one of my own videos from a while back. I'm gonna go over here, concise summary. I probably shouldn't show you guys because now you'll just do this for all my videos and I won't get the watch time ad revenue, but oh well, I gotta share this tool with you guys. Here's the concise summary of this whole video. I can go to the detailed summary too. And this tells me the results I got, including running a 70 billion LLM with 39 layers on the GPU and getting seven tokens per second on the Mac. So what is this? Well, this is just one part of a tool called Recall. No, not that recall. <laughs> this is get recall, get recall.ai. And I've been using it for over a month now. And it has been the easiest way to collect my notes, research and ideas in one place. Even if they didn't sponsor this video, which they did, I think this is currently one of the most useful AI related tools out there. But AI is just a small part of it. Let me show you the rest. First, let's jump over here. I'm just gonna be an open book right now and show you all my internal workings here. These are my notes. This is uh, Apple Notes and this is where I keep my notes. It's pretty messy and I have to keep making copies of relevant chunks. For example, if I'm making a video about, um, oh, the MacBook Air M4 and I found some useful information about it, some related comments from the YouTube channel that I want to include in the video, I have to sometimes copy these from place to place when I want to link ideas together. Every week I dive into tech topics like this and I test devices, I prep scripts, I research specs, I read change logs and and I watch long videos and I jot down notes usually in a bunch of different tools like here and in Notion. This is the way I worked for many years. But two weeks later, I can't find these notes or even worse, I forgot that I even took them. This is how I worked for several years until I found getrecall.ai. So just right up front here, there is a free tier that lets you try things out. So you can go right now to one of my videos. Hey, even this video right here, you can try it on this one. Get a summarization of this video or any video that you want. And what's the idea here? The idea is that this will not only work right there on the side of a video, but this will save that video to your mini Wikipedia. Let's call it that. It's your own database. Everything that you research, whether it's videos, articles, anything that's online that you can click on. Here's Dev.2, for example, another site I often visit to look at articles. I don't know, let's, let's look at this one right here. Full stack open source projects that will help you become AI devs published today. So yeah, there's a whole article right there. And I have this little flyout menu here too. I can get a concise summary here too. Here it is right on the side. I can chat with this article. Is JavaScript or Python better for AI? Based on the provided context, both Python and JavaScript are used in AI, but Python is generally considered top choice because due to extensive libraries and tools, we already knew that, come on. But imagine the possibilities here. It's so easy to just do things right there in the browser. And then you saw the little picture. Here is the big picture. And this is my own personal knowledge base. Everything I look at and I analyze and I wanna save off as part of my research, it goes into here. This is app.getrecall.ai. And here is that notebook that I was just reading. I can look at the full text of the article. I can read the summaries. I can chat right here with the article. I can take a quiz. Imagine this for students that are just learning things. You're coming across different articles on the web as you're doing research and you can quiz yourself. This will generate questions for you on the fly from the source material. Now I can start my review and this will give me multiple choice questions <laughs> generated from that. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I'm wrong. Let's go to the next. I, I didn't even read it, to be honest with you. Let's do a little peek. And it's going to take me back to where that source material was found so I can do a review if I failed, which I just did. 
<laughs> on the left, I have my topics, productivity, technology, no surprise there, AI, computer performance. I have a lot there. Let's check out this Ryzen AI Max Pro 395, a chip which I've been really looking forward to and testing out on the channel. So this gives me a summary from this video right here. I can chat with the video. It must be a good video, but I did not watch it. I came across it. Here's the video. I clicked on save right over here. This is part of the recall browser extension, completely free, of course. Everything here as part of the browser extension is local first, so nothing leaves your computer. And here's the transcript with timestamps. So I can always jump to that timestamp in the video if I come across something here in the summary, in a detailed summary, or in the actual script. I can't believe I'm sharing this information because now you're not going to watch my videos. You're just going to summarize them using this tool. <laughs> Well, you should watch my videos anyway, because they're interesting. And I get to talk about books. So this is a book by Tiago Forte. It's a pretty popular book, Building a Second Brain. And that's exactly what this tool does. The, the whole idea here is that you're going to offload the things that are supposed to be kept in your brain, all the little bookmarks that you have in there, you offload it to here. Well, this book was written before Recall was around, but the idea is the same. However, this book goes into something called the code framework. Capture, organize, distill, and express code. And you're supposed to do this stuff manually for every piece of information that you come across. Well, the book doesn't go into the details of how you do it and offers some suggestions, but until Recall.ai came around, you had to do some of these steps manually. So now Recall handles the capture part for you really easily. As you just saw, it handles the organized part right here. Everything is by topic. The organized bit is supposed to be sorting the information into relevant topics so they're together. And that's what this does. Here on the left, I got product, productivity. I have technology. So far, I'm not very multidimensional with this as a human being, but I can see this expanding quite a lot. Distill is the D, and that's extracting the essence into your notes. Imagine we had to do that stuff manually. We had to summarize it manually. Now, this is the AI part of Recall, and this is the part that does the summary for you automatically. And finally, Express, well, that's using the knowledge, right? That's once you already have it there. So let's say you came back a week later and you're like, huh, what was I thinking about? Well, the Ryzen AMD something or other. What was the name of that chip? Well, you can even go here into graph and this will connect all your different save topics together. So for example, uh, what's this? Oh, look at that. That big node right there is Ryzen. And here's the big node AMD. I can click on that. I can take some notes. This is my notebook related to that. I can hit expand. It'll give me more details about AMD. This is your Wikipedia. <laughs> this is so cool. Do you see these little links here? I did not create those links. It automatically created those links. When you click on them, they're going to generate new pieces of information. Santa Clara, California. That's where the new micro center is opening. Eh, never mind. Different topic. And there's one more thing that I wanted to show you. Let's say I'm taking a look at an article and this is something related. I already saved this article maybe maybe not it's my choice by the way and I come across these little links here and these little links are injected into my page by the way I can turn that on and off using the recall extension and when I hover over this it's gonna give me the connections so where is that LLM word connected to well there's that Lex Friedman podcast with the primogen let's say I'm on Google and I search for Ryzen AI and I come across some article here the new framework motherboards that are gonna be coming out which I'll be testing on this channel pretty soon so make sure you don't miss that. We've got a bunch of these little links. What are these? This is a feature called Recall Augmented Browser. And basically it gives me these links that I can hover over and jump right into my knowledge base, my own personal knowledge base from any one of these. Look, I'm hovering over AMD Ryzen and I have eight connections here. AMD, Max, AI Max Plus Pro 395, Strix Halo. All these are things that I've saved before that I can now connect into my knowledge base. Here's another one, Radeon, brand of computer products. And then I remember, oh, I wanted to see this YouTube video about this. So I click on that and there's the YouTube video. There's the summary and I can jump right to the video right there. I mean, you can tell how excited this guy is right here on the video. And I am just as excited as that guy about Get Recall. So check it out, getrecall.ai. There's a lot of different recalls out there, but you want to go to getrecall.ai and there's a link down below. Yes, this is a sponsored video, as I mentioned before. However, as you can see, it's really freaking useful. And until you try it, you're not going to even understand how useful this is. Luckily, there's a free trial. And if there's any extra sales or anything going on, I'll put them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.